where no man has gone before. All right, we're continuing our review of all the original Star Trek episodes. Um, this one, it was okay. We're going to talk about it using my space system, story, pacing, artistry, characters, enjoyment. Each category gets a score between zero and two. Two is the best you can get in any category. Um, for the storyline, I'm going to give it a 1.5. Um, I, I, I am, uh, I love Star Trek. Uh, I love the original series. I don't remember every detail of every episode. I've kind of been rewatching them with the upgraded Blu-ray effects, um, which I'm okay with. We'll get to that in the artistry section. So this one is just not one of the ones that I'm really dying over. I'm doing my scores comparatively, so I'm not comparing Star Trek to Doctor Who or Star Trek to Blake Seven or Star Wars. Star Trek's my second favorite TV show of all time. Number one is Doctor Who. So um, I, I pretty much love all of them. You're not going to get anything lower than like a five, probably, based on my rating system anyways. I will give this a 1.5 story. It's just kind of cool. It's like Kirk's buddy starts to act weird. He starts to get powers. He gets those weird eyes. You have that lady doctor who starts to also kind of form an attachment with him. And um, she's becomes the thing, too. And they, and they kind of beam down to this planet. And I, it's we just saw one. I don't. I know there's production order, which is all kind of different. But we just saw Charlie X. So I've already reviewed that. I get a similar kind of thing. Get powers and all that. You're like, ah, eh, it's okay. I don't remember what I, I think. I gave it a 1.5 for Charlie X. So it's about the same. Like the story is okay. I'm not dying over it, so I can't give it a two out of two. But I liked it. You know, it was fine. There wasn't enough of the cast in it. It was mostly. Um, that guy and that girl, I don't remember, I don't even remember their names, <laughs> but, um, eh, like, so that kind of took, took it down, but the story itself is okay. I just wish there would have been more interaction with the original, uh, crew pacing. I'm going to have to give it a one because I feel that there's a lot of like meandering around. Like he, the guy's laying in that bed. It's like, Oh, we're, we're testing these things. And I'm like, yeah, I, I get it. He's super smart now. Like there was an episode of Next Gen where Barkley got got the kind of those powers and they did more with it there. Um, this one is just kind of like eh, he's just there, so it got it was a little bit slow. I wasn't bored really, but it's it was it it was a bit slow, so I'm going to give it one point. Um, but uh, I, I I wasn't bored, so I'm not I'm not saying it's terrible. Um, artistry, I'll give it a 1.5. You know, again, some of the effects are not too bad. Uh, again, I want to point out I am watching the upgraded versions. I'm not against upgrading Star Trek. Uh, it's fine. It's not like they're adding scenes or, or adding characters in. You know, at least I haven't noticed that. But um, overall, it looked good. good you know, I like got, got the music and all that. And um, the only reason I can't give it, like they go down to the planet and that's kind of cool. There's a little bit of a fight uh, with Kirk and the guy and that's kind of cool too. There's one thing here though, is that they've got those old sweaters <laughs> I don't know what else to call them. They're sweaters to me. I hate them. Um, I know that the, the the look of Star Trek with like the man or not the man trap the um, the menagerie and 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 all of that like how they kind of the, the the look of the 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 uniforms change. I hate these sweaters. They're terrible. Um, everyone just looks awful. So um, I have to ding it a little bit because it's just I can't I can't. It's, it's like it's hurting my eyes. I'm not a, I'm definitely against CGIing things, but like I'm almost like, can you just CGI those sweaters away and put them in the proper uh, outfits? But anyways, that's that's a personal thing. Um, they're, they look like sweaters to me. I literally I don't know. It's it's, it's terrible. For the characters, I have to give it a one. Um, look, I mean, Kirk's got some good stuff in this, and there's a great dialogue um, where then the red or in the briefing room trying to figure out what to do. Um, Spock's not bad here. Kirk, like Kirk McCoy, everyone's okay, but a lot of emphasis is on the girl and the guy. And as I just told you, I don't even remember their names, and I couldn't care less about them, like at all. Um, I don't know why. Like I could just see that the the personalities just aren't there for me. Um, like versus like you know, let's say Doctor McCoy, who's like the damn best, right? It's, just, it's like. I don't know. I just, there, there's, there's nothing there for me to get excited about. I don't hate any of the characters. So I'm still giving a one, a one is a pass. I'm giving it one point to say, yeah, that was like, you know, the characters are okay. Uh, but I'm just not dying over them. That's the thing. Enjoyment factor. I got to go with one as well. I mean, I like this one, you know, it's okay. 
So far out of, I've watched about maybe 10 or 12 of the original series from season one. Um, and I've seen all these episodes. I think this is like my fourth time going through. Yeah, I think it's fourth, maybe fifth time going through all the episodes. So, um, I mean, if you could, like, like if you if you want to cherry pick season one episodes, watch all my videos and you can see if I give a nine or 10, that's probably a good one. This one, giving it a one for enjoyment. I'm going to have to give this a six. I think a six out of 10. It's, it's this is the weakest one for me that we've that I've reviewed so far. It's probably going to be the weakest one going forward, or this might be the weakest one of, of season one. But um, like, it's still okay. Six out of 10, it's a pass. Like it's Star Trek. I'm not going to really give anything lower than like a five probably because I really like Star Trek. We'll see. We'll see how season three goes. Um, I don't foresee anything lower than a six going forward in season one and two, maybe. Um, this one's definitely the weakest so far, but it's still Star Trek. Kirk's great, of course. Um, so there you have it. Uh, if you enjoy my space rating system, please like the video. Um, and please consider subscribing. Check out our live streams. They're really good. We're doing fantastic four Fridays and Legion of Superheroes every Monday. So check those out. All right, everybody. That's it. Until next time.